She's a Mona Lisa. I, I might bring Everyone's it. Not to see so in this video, I kind of just thought maybe I would talk She's about portion control. I talk about it quite a lot in my, you know, videos, and I feel like for some people it is quite a hard thing to do. So I remember someone asking me how I could eat just half a croissant and not the whole thing. And people saying stuff like they admired that and how it was, you know, maybe shocking to them or something. But to be honest, I used to be that person as well. Okay, so before we get into the video, I wanna talk about my sponsor, Skillshare. I'm partnering with Skillshare again on this video because you guys loved them so much last time. So I told you about the two courses I was doing, Design Your Day and How to Beat Procrastination. And I've literally learned so many practical, actual things that I can implement into my life. So I've been doing things like changing my schedule around, I've been like time blocking, like just time management skills in general that have been amazing for me. It used to take me like whole days just to figure out what YouTube video to do, you know? But now I've been able to kind of juggle my time properly, especially now, I mean, I've had a friend come to visit me, I've had shoots all week, I've been able to post two YouTube videos this week and obviously I'm moving. Usually I would have been so overwhelmed with all the stuff I was doing, but I'm so happy I've learned these skills from the Skillshare course and actually have been able to do, you know, all the things that I wanted to do. And I think that's what it's about, like with time management, with organization, you know, increasing your productivity. It's about getting all the things done that you actually want to get done. You know, just being able to, you know, tick everything off my list. And I mean, they have loads of other courses as well. They have personal growth courses. They have meal planning for vegans, how to study for exams, get better grades. They have five different languages or oh, actually more than five different languages. So everyone can do it. And if you've been thinking about, you know, signing up for Skillshare, I do have a code called Jade Rose and then you can get a month free trial. I've teamed up with Skillshare to offer the first 1,000 people with this free trial, so definitely sign up if you've been thinking about it. You can expand your mind, your skills, your knowledge, and you know, have fun doing it. Let me know if you sign up and let's get back to the rest of the video. I think I just had in my mind and soul that if something is on your plate, you need to eat all of it. And I think I just felt in my mind that food is there to be eaten. I was always told, finish your plate, don't waste it. And it was just very hard for me to ever willingly waste food. But right now I don't really see it as food is meant to be eaten. I see it more as like food is meant to be enjoyed. I love a good hearty delicious big dinner. Well actually no I don't like a dinner. Oh no I do like a dinner but I prefer you know a lunch. If I eat past a certain point, if I eat past hunger then it just becomes something where it's not enjoyable anymore. And I already know in my mind the experience turns from something that you know, is enjoyable and that I love and that I'm enjoying to something that is like, oh no, like this is, you know, painful, this is too much, I can barely move. And I think kind of just keeping that in my mind and remembering that, you know, I don't want to feel like that. I want to enjoy my food, not to, you know, feel like it's hurting me, if you know what I mean. You know, I mean, this is a little bit different, but Something I never used to really understand before until I actually experienced it myself was binge eating. I used to think binge eating was something like you buy a tub of ice cream, you think you're gonna have, you know, two scoops, and then you end up eating the whole thing, and then you read the packet and it says 1,800 calories, and you're like, it's actually so much deeper than that, so much crazier than that. Like, I wanna tell you this story actually. So, I've shared in my glow up video how much I struggled with acne. And if you've ever had acne before, you'll understand like how, how it can just affect your confidence so much. And at the, not the height of my acne, but quite bad, I was selected as a finalist in a modeling competition. And the prize was something like huge, well, not, I mean, I forgot what it actually was, but um, in the end, Hannah Cross won. Um, I think now she is more famous for dating Brooklyn Beckham, but I mean, it really did take off her career. So it was something that I really wanted at the time. But then I was looking at myself and I'm like, look at my acne. There's no way I'm gonna win this competition without getting rid of this acne. And I literally was just like, I need to do something. I was literally so desperate to do anything and I kept researching, researching, researching online, trying to figure out how to get rid of acne. And then something popped up. It was this article that said that if I do a detox, it will take out the toxins and the impurities in my skin and I would get clear skin. So I was like, right, 
I'm doing a cleanse. So I'm gonna get rid of my acne and I'll probably be skinnier for the competition. So it's a win-win. So the cleanse that I decided to do was called the Master Cleanse. And I, well, long story short, I did it for 10 days. The only thing I actually had was this lemonade water that you would make every single day peppermint tea and I think just normal water was allowed as well. Now I do want to say the first two days was you know difficult but after that it was pretty easy. It went by and I was like wow 10 days have gone by and I'm okay. <laughs> but was my skin better? I mean I still had acne. On top of that I had lost muscle so I looked kind of skinny fat. Couldn't leave the house for 10 days because I felt, you know, you know, the temptations of the outside would, you know, ruin my cleanse. So I wasn't even, you know, competition ready. I was actually worse off than before I started the competition because at least I had, you know, muscle. Well, I still had muscle. I mean, it didn't all go in 10 days, but I, I didn't feel like I looked as good when I looked in the mirror anyway. Oh, and I didn't lose any weight, like nothing. <laughs> so... I don't know. But what was worse was the kind of aftermath of this cleanse. Like I was just eating foods I would never normally crave, never normally eat. And I was eating them to an excessive point. Like before I think I was, I had a routine. I knew what I wanted to eat. I knew what kinds of foods that I enjoyed. And then after this cleanse, it was just like, Run. I really felt like I went from someone who really enjoyed my diet and enjoyed eating the way, you know, I ate to someone who was just a little bit all over the place. And I just sometimes had this sudden urge to just eat more and more. And it was like, almost like an out of body experience. It's like, there's a tiny place in the back of your mind somewhere that is saying, oh, are you sure? You I don't know if you really, can... you know, they're trying to tell you like, calm down, but your body is just going and going. And yeah, it's, it's weird, it's like we're not even connected. And actually experiencing this actually kind of scared me. I was just like, oh God. So after a while it kind of stopped happening, I really think my body probably just kind of realized like, whoa, you know, food's around, like calm down, you know? <laughs> my body didn't have that kind of desperation for food, but I can definitely, definitely sympathize and understand why people get into this cycle of binge, restrict, binge, restrict. I mean, I've heard of people even binging to the point where they're eating, you know, multiple thousands of calories in an hour. And this kind of just taught me, well, I already knew, any, I never judge anyone anyway, but when someone is severely overweight or when someone, you know, eats a lot or, I don't know, is struggling with portion control or struggling with eating too much or anything like that, I think it's a result of diet culture. I think it's a result of these quick fix kind of diets, these like starvation diets. This is why on my channel, I really try to spread the message. You do not need to starve. You do not need to tell yourself this is off limits. That is off limits. You can't eat this. You can't eat that. Because when you restrict, you are affecting your, your mental health, like your well-being. It's not a sustainable way of losing weight. And I mean, look at me, right? I went 10 days without actually eating any solid food. Did I lose weight? No. If you restrict your body too much, your body goes into starvation mode. Anything that you give it, any little piece of bread, any little anything, it's going to store us fat and cling onto it. Your body doesn't know when it's gonna eat. So when you start to eat a bit more, it's gonna turn into this kind of uncontrollable, out of body experience, but you are just trying to, you know, your body is trying to save itself. We've got to let go of these kind of fad diets. And, and even though I actually didn't do it because of, you know, weight loss, but I mean, people do do these kind of things for weight loss. The good thing is nowadays, when you search the master cleanse on YouTube, there is a video that comes up and it's a video of Yolanda Foster talking about how great it is and how everyone should do a cleanse all the time. And then I feel like anyone who sees that video will be like, oh, oh no, <laughs> maybe this ain't for me. There is nothing that I tell myself that I'm not allowed to eat. Because of that experience, even just even just no carbs, right? A lot of people do no carbs. And obviously I'm not saying that that is a bad thing or that, you know, if you do no carbs, you're gonna, you know, binge afterwards and just blah, blah, blah. But I personally just, I, I don't do any of those things because I really, really believe in a balanced diet and I really believe in no kinds of restrictions like that. Now, I wanna be very, very honest because I feel like some people will say those things and be like, yeah, you can eat, you know, chocolate every day and you can eat this every day and that, that. Well, you can, but I mean, if your goal is to, you know, be, you know, skinnier or lose weight or, you know, be, you know, in shape, then probably not. 
I eat chocolate, I eat croissants, I eat, you know, ice cream every now and again. Just not every day, just not all the time. I think being more aware of the nutritional value of things and realizing like, hey, I could go to McDonald's and have a chocolate milkshake, but I could also make one at home using natural sugars, using banana, using, you know, cacao powder, using protein shakes. And is it gonna taste just as good? Yes. And is it gonna be more nutritious? Yes. And honestly, the reason why, if I go back to my main point at the beginning of the video, which I kind of skipped over, and the reason why I can, you know, go about my day and eat half a croissant and save it for later is because I don't have that scarcity. I don't have that feeling of, oh my God, there's not enough. Like making that shift from restriction to abundance will just change your life. There's so much food and we have so much time to eat it so why don't we just enjoy that time to eat it why do we have to eat it all now and the best thing about saving food is that you don't get to enjoy it just that one day just that one time you get to enjoy it you know the next day and the next day you know how many times i have started eating like i don't know a piece of chocolate or something and then being like well, let me just save you know the rest of this for later and then you know the next day i'm like oh i forgot about that let me let me have chocolate and it's like a little gift to myself I'm a very, very big advocate of eating healthier foods, making better choices. But at the end of the day, even if you eat those healthy foods, even if you make those better choices all throughout the day, the clock strikes midnight and you are like, oh, I need to go to the fridge and you end up eating the whole fridge. That is not gonna get you closer to your goals. And I can tell you right now, it's going to affect you mentally. Most people who are overweight are overweight because they are overeating in some way. And if it's that binging is making you overeat, you've got to really tackle that. You need to get to the source, the root of the problem. Maybe try taking some of my tips, talk to a therapist and remember, food is meant to be enjoyed. Anyway, thank you for watching guys. If you want more tips, definitely check out my video. It's called Model Diet Tips Anyone Can Do To Lose Weight. I'll see you next She's year. a Mona Lisa.